Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today I want to take a look at a new theme that's out there. It's been out there for a few days. I just wanted to take a look. I think it's pretty slick. So this is a new one by David Marty. Essentially, it's his version of Maximus Arcade, but made for the pie. So Maximus Pie. And this is his first version. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay guys, so with this theme, there's support for 77 systems, plus some new stuff that's not out there yet that he already has set up. Just waiting for RetroPie to put out a new update. So he has that set up for us. Some cool new stuff that's gonna be happening. I only have Sega stuff on this at the moment, so we're not gonna get to take a peek at everything, but I'll put a link in the description if you wanna take a look at his video where he goes over this real quick and just shows all the systems and whatnot. But I just want to do a quick look and show you what's supported in this. So we do have the carousel being supported. Let's just take a look. Like I said, it's all Sega stuff that I have in here. So you do have marquees enabled. You have video support. It looks pretty awesome to me. It's fairly simple. This might not be something that everybody likes, but I'm kind of really digging it just for the simplicity of it. You know, you get into your system, you know, without, you know, maybe with some editing you can change some things, but just with the base layout, you don't have the system being demonstrated on here, I, I guess you would say, but you would know what you're getting yourself into. So we're in 32X, looking at 32X, we got our marquee, you know, our little icons up there and our video plan. So I thought that was pretty neat, the way this looks, you know, all these new themes that are coming out that are... Man, Emulation Station is just blowing up in my opinion. I mean, where's all the talk of Attract Mode anymore? I don't really hear too many people talking about Attract Mode. Everybody's talking about Emulation Station, all these awesome themes that guys like David Marty and Phil's Doodles and, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that are just doing a lot of awesome support for these themes for Emulation Station. It's really making it easy for people because, you know, Attract Mode's awesome, don't get me wrong. But there's so much more setup. If you're if you're making your own base image, and you're installing a track mode on your own, there's so much work behind it. Just so much to get everything set up properly. Now, if you're using, you know, like David Marty's base of uh, Motion Blue or or HyperPy, a lot of the work has already been done for you, so that's awesome. But if you just want to get something up and running and looking slick. These emulation station themes are just, they're really where it's at. Just really where it's at. I, I just think it's so awesome that we're getting all this support. So, as you see, you know, we can go into each system. It's not really going to be anything different. You know, like my Dreamcast setup, I'm not done with this yet. I don't have the marquees and all that good stuff at the moment. But, you know, as you see, every system looks the same. It's more of the outer selection of the systems that you're getting to the the graphics to where you know what you're digging into so for example like master system we go in there looks pretty awesome but once you start scrolling around if you're not familiar with the games you might not know what system you're in just because it's not telling you the systems there um but i don't think that's a huge deal that's not a deal breaker for me using this theme anyway i like i just love how it's it's simple you got your system right there big ass image of your system Select it tells you how many games are available get into that bad boy. You're you're ready to go. You're ready to go so <clears throat> That's the simple part, you know if this theme interests you and it, it 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 is pretty simple Like I said not a lot of people You know not necessarily not a lot of people But some people may not like this theme because of the simplicity But then some people might love it because of the simplicity That's a good thing about these. There's so many options out there now, in order to get this theme, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you're in the RetroPie configurations. And um, you have to make sure everything's updated. So you're going to have to make sure your RetroPie setup script is updated and emulation station is updated at bare minimum. And then you should be able to find it. You would go into ES themes, 
Let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. And now in here, it's going to be toward the bottom. You're going to have all these awesome themes. Like, so there's so many of them that you can go through and install. Just it's, it's so ridiculous compared to what it used to be. You know, you only had a handful. You would have to go find, you know, work that people's done or create your own and manually install it. Now we're just getting so much awesome support. You know, so down toward the bottom here, we have a handful of all the newer themes. And it's going to be right here, Maximus Pi. So I've already installed it. So I'm going to have where it says update or uninstall. So easily, you'll just install it. You'll click OK. It'll download. Take It should take less than a minute. It doesn't take long at all. Now, if he releases an update and it's it's up there, you can just update through here. Click OK, update that bad boy. So that's pretty much it. I just thought it was a pretty, pretty cool little theme. You know, kind of, I don't want to say it flew under the radar, but, you know, David Marty kind of dropped his, uh, his final version 5 of Motion Blue, which, you know, I kind of think that trumped all the news as far as themes were going on out there so everybody was kind of blowing up about oh man motion blue the the final version what and this one you know is out there a lot of people know about it but i still think it just hasn't gotten as noticed even though you know it's both by david marty but you know that bombshell of hey version five motion blue he's he's done with it you know that kind of that kind of overshadowed everything else that's going on out there so i thought hey Let's throw this out there, take a quick look. I'll post a link to David Marty's channel. Go take a look at all the awesome stuff he's got going on. And just, bam, you know, make your decision. If you like this theme, cool, you know, whatever. But go smash that like button on David Marty's channel. Show him some love. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber of his. Because you never know what the heck he's going to be throwing out there next. You know, he might have some magical, you know, reimagining of motion blue or who knows, motion freaking green i don't know he could have some crazy stuff going on so definitely take a look at his channel subscribe over there because he's always got some awesome stuff coming out who knows like i said he, he could just shock the world in the future we don't know yet but keep tabs on him smash the like button on this video if you could i'd really appreciate that subscribe if you're not already a subscriber take a look at my giveaway videos i got a couple of them going on some awesome stuff out there for you guys trying to give back you know gotta gotta give back you guys have been giving me you know the subscribing and, and and watching my videos and i appreciate it so i'm trying my best whenever i can to give back and i got some awesome stuff for you guys so stay tuned for that catch you guys next time boom